Well, welcome back to Bullshit Creepy Pasta Story Time. What today? Oh, uh-huh. it's, it's it's Spooky Finger Puppet Ghost Day, and or Halloween, depending on what you celebrate. And uh, you know, of course, I have a story for ye all. Um. First, there was one story, then there was another, then there was a part of Persona, and now there's another story. The quad of stories. Hope you've enjoyed these spooky videos, but enough of my nonsense. Let's just get into the story that goes by no other name other than Majora's Mask. Also, please enjoy uh, the creaking of my chair, which is to make the atmosphere seem more spooky uh though mostly it's because my chair is bad also i think my dog just barked but that's because it's just so spooky uh now uh it is worth noting at the beginning of this story here that uh there's some text uh at the very top that says majora's mask i.e the story uh is a Legend of Zelda Creepypasta, actually it's a video game, about hacking a used copy of Majora's Mask with a game shark. It is not to be confused with Ben, another popular Majora's Mask pasta. So, really, really insulting everyone's intelligence. Hey, this is not Ben. Drown. This, this, this is something completely else. If you think this is that, this is not that. In fact, this is this, which is Majora's Mask, which is a video game that I wrote a story about, and it has nothing to do with this thing over here. Thanks for the clarification. I was, I'm stupid and dumb and dumb. So let's read the story. So, comma, I don't know if you guys are too young to remember Game Sharks. I'm not sure if they make them anymore. Probably not. I don't know if I had to guess. But uh, they were this cool little thing that you could plug into a game console and use to hack the game and discover cheats. My buddy still has one for his old Nintendo 64 as opposed to all those new Nintendo 64s that are rolling out. Uh, and we still like to mess around with it sometimes. I found a used copy of Majora's Mask the other day, and I realized we never tried to hack it. Being you're 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 real loose with the word hack there. It's it's a game shark. Calm, calm down. Uh, so uh, I dropped five bucks on the cartridge where the hell are you shopping you get those kind of prices or well eh, i don't know uh that might be right actually that's maybe it was out of box maybe it was in shitty condition maybe author sucks uh last night i called up my friend grabbed a case of beer and went over to his house for some sweet Drunken retro gaming. <laughs> yeah. Woo. Uh, we we were having a great time. <laughs> it's just a fan fiction now. Uh, making Link fall through floors. Aw, oh, dip. And walk through walls. And all that good stuff. <laughs> You, you ran out of examples after two. <laughs> That's great. Uh, hey, we even found a code that caused a huge number of those annoying little dogs to spawn, swamping the map and generally causing chaos. Uh, the AI inhabitants of this town, they, they were all frazzled and stuff. I mean, mostly they didn't react because, you know, they're not smart enough to do that. But still, we, you know, chaos. After the standard cheats got boring, we decided to run the code search on the game shark again. <gasps> do you dare? Oddly enough. The Game Shark came up with a brand new code sequence. 
one we'd never seen before. Being slightly buzzed from the beer. <laughs> ah, I am wasted from the beer. <laughs> that beer. The one beer. And bored with throwing infinite bombs at unsuspecting enemies. Why not throw them at unsuspecting humans? That they appreciate it. We punched the code in and fired up the game. Game sharks have a tendency to cause minor glitches. They are not minor. So neither of us were very surprised when the game completely skipped over the menu screens and jumped directly into the action. We were outside of the snow temple and the clock was stuck at a couple of minutes to midnight on the third day. The move I'm, I'm sorry, the moon, more likely, uh, was leering at us from the sky, uh, nearly ready to crash into the ground. Um, other than the frozen time, the game seemed to be functional, I would, I would, overall, I would say, uh, although I am cre incredibly drunk right now, I must admit. So I pushed forward on the control stick. Do you dare? And sent Link off in exploration of the world as it teetered directly on the brink of apocalypse. Well, I can't see how this could possibly go wrong. You're doing everything right. There was a distinct lack of enemies. Damn it. And strange patterns of pixels would randomly appear and disappear. Oh my god. Naturally, comma, we were starting to get pretty bored. Is nothing good enough for you? But we had nothing to kill. Did we start the game? I decided to shut the console down. <gasps> That's... That never happens. And try another code. Okay. Never mind. Uh, but I figured I'd look up at the moon one more time. Just, you know, just for old time's sake. To my surprise, it was much larger than it had been before and we realized that it was still approaching the Earth despite the fact that time had stopped. It was nearly ready to crash down. So we decided to see if anything cool would happen in the end game cutscene. Oddly enough, the cutscene never triggered. Instead, the moon just kept getting closer and closer. This is the scariest sentence in this entire creepypasta. Because that moon is actually scary as opposed to this. But I could barely make out movement on it. It's using instant transmission, I can't t And I realized that the spinning Majora's Mask from the main menu screen was spinning, I'm sorry, appearing on the surface in a flurry of oddly shaped pixels. The spinning mask continued to get clearer and clearer until it completely hid the moon's evil grin. Uh, something seemed very wrong with the mask, though. It seemed too well animated for an image on Nintendo 64. Shots fired. Shit. Uh, the lines and details were very clear. As opposed to the shit that I normally... Uh, and the colors were far too vivid. As opposed to the garbage that... As the mask spun around, the eyes seemed to follow me. Not your friend, just... just no, I, I like this, this one drunk asshole over here. But I was hypnotized by it. And I sat there, beer in one hand, controller in the other. Who the fuck does that? <laughs> you can't set your controller down and take a drink like a normal... Pre I, 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 what, if I need to hold on to the controller, what happens if I let go? I might lose it. But extremely disturbing images began to flash across the TV screen as the moon continued to approach. Uh, let's see. Uh, everything appeared to be on fire. 
Oh, that, that sounded like the news, actually. And, and quick glimpses of the poor, innocent, animated characters of the town showing them die, dying extremely gruesome deaths. They, they, they're so gruesome, I won't even tell you about them. <laughs> Thank you for not going into detail. I really appreciate it. Majora's Mask completed one final rotation and stopped, staring directly at us. A gnarled hand came up, slowly pulling the mask away, and underneath was the Skull Kid. A horrible expression of agony and pain burned on his face. Well, you can't, you shouldn't burn him. He, he will literally burn. But uh, he opened his mouth. He has a mouth? A and with a, a sickening groan of cartridge era video game sounds. <laughs> so, if, in case anyone's wondering what that sounded like, just go to YouTube and type that in. Don't be sad when nothing shows up. And those, and that, look, those cartridge era video game sounds uttered the words that have never I'm sorry the words that have been haunting me at night you lost the game ah this is like high school again when you lost the game cuz someone said it and now everyone watching this video lost the game as a result of that so that just that's that's us that's fucking terrible. I feel like I was set up but uh, the screen went pitch black, and the Nintendo 64 shut off. The Nintendo 64, very smart. I like the attitude of that N64. But uh, me and my friend looked at each other, unsure of what we'd seen. He claims it was just an alternate ending the producers didn't use in the actual game. But the whole thing seemed way too paranormal to be that easily explained. Clearly, my friend is an idiot, but sadly the story just kind of ends right there, so we'll never actually know. Uh, overall, I'd have to give this story uh, one Majora's Mask out of five. Majora's Mask is... is Salesman, yeah, yeah. So, so that's not a very high score then, because you didn't even actually get a full person. You only got a mask. Um, but uh, try again next time. I hope someone enjoyed this. And, 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 and this has been bullshit clip plus story time. It's time for Ansley. Ah, uh, yes, you've fallen into my web again. Tricked into watching and slay. I saw someone complaining about it. <laughs> they were like, like, like I made them sit through the entire end slate. Well, this isn't the video. I'm confused. Anyways, welcome back to end slate, where people apparently don't know it's end slate. I hope you enjoyed the spooky video of Majora's Mask. That wasn't scary at all. Although I enjoyed that there was beer in the story. And also, for the people who have been saying I sound drunk... I'm not drunk, I just sound like this normally. And also, I can't drink, because it makes me throw up. That's my dog, who, that that's just to add a creepy atmosphere. It's not at all, because he's just barking right now. My neighbors are, at, are douches. I don't, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this story. Maybe it makes it more spooky, I don't really know. Um, there's cats. He's, you know, anyway, anyways, uh... Thank you very much for watching the video. I do hope you enjoyed it, as well as the other videos this month, assuming YouTube sent them to your sub box. I doubt it. Or, you know, at least not all of them. Uh, if, if you like the video and you want to subscribe or like it, that's cool. Um, that probably helps, although YouTube is going to bury me in the algorithm anyway, so what are you going to do? Uh, I have uh, oh uh, social media stuff. Um... If, uh, if you like videos and you want to help me make more, uh, I have a Patreon. Um, I, uh, I stream on Twitch. I, have a, uh, I also stream a little on YouTube. I'm trying to work out how to do both those. So I have a Twitter where I fuck around. Uh, Facebook, a Discord that I'm scared of. 
Uh, and I think that does it for links. So wait. And then I push something over. And it's, a, it's very dramatic and scary. And then... Crash. But wait. Spooky. I need to thank people. It, I need to thank people in the most scariest way possible. But I can't think of how to do that. So I'm just going to do it normally. But, uh, you know. Just um, imagine it's it's very fright. You're very scared right now. Scared? Scared of my thankfulness while I get real, real close to the mic. How do you like this? So thank you. Deshaun Lewis. You nice motherfucker. You're all nice motherfucker. Thank you. McKella and Phantom Ganon and Lucas and Anal Bag and Izuki Midoriya and Mama Aki. Hi. And Matthew Newitt and Whitman Skinny 720. Antonio and Guano. Aria, Bradley Harder, Christina, Derek Chapman, Fernando Silvia. Glad Goku, Gothic Violin, hey, it's Brad, James Gray, Kenpachi Ramasama, Crunchy Face, Livy Starflame, Michael Holder the second, Nikki Layman, thank you Nolan, and Queen Sapphire and Rabbit, there's a rabbit! Thank you, Ragnar the Green, runs the Discord. I'm afraid. Thank you, Cedars, PhD, and Slickster. Hold on a sec. Slickster, Maxel, Tasca. Yeah, I might have said that wrong. Thank you, the Pi Man. Wait, the Epi Man. The Epi Pen? <laughs> the Epi Pen Man. But it's one of the. Thank you very much. Thank you, Blinker002, and Euk. And an evil ghost! Ah, the evil ghost. Thank you, Andrew Silverman. And Andy Devora, Angel Bane, and Shuckster. Thank you. Come watch my streams. That's not me saying it. That's, that's, that's what the, that, that's their name. <laughs> or that's not their name. That'd be awkward if it wasn't. <laughs> what are we going to name them, honey? Come watch my streams. What's a stream? Shut up. Uh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Is that so? I hope things are going well or better for you. Uh, th everyone, I, I hope, rough time. Everyone, I love you all. Uh, th thank you, David Jensen and Dylan Swenson. Rhymes. And thank you, Efri684. Thank you, Fat D2. There's a sequel? <laughs> I had no idea. Huh. Fat D like you've never seen him before. In Fat D2, we really expanded upon the gameplay elements of Fat. Thank you very much, Fat D2. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, thank you, Fiona Jade and GJR78. Thank you, Greg Wolf, Jiggly Turbo, Joe Mortefolio. Thank you, Page Loading. I know it's anticlimactic. Thank you, John Anderson and John Mayer, the Magic Weatherman, and John Paul Hoare, and John Garcia, and Commentary, and Kami Mun, and Keitaro, and Kendall, and Kristen Soto, Lenny Barks, Lily Buddy, M Gamers, Michael P, Mio Boo Bunny, Mio Kurushima, Mocha Punk. Thank you, Mr. Mohawk, and Mr. Bowler, and Nikki Badelli, and thank you, Orderly Chaos. How can it be orderly? I don't know. Thank you, Painful Choice, and, and Radar, and Ribby Casey, and Ryan Cole, and Scott Labar, and Shilk, and Snooper, and Snoopy Spirit, and to dis... <laughs> I'm not going to pronounce it. Thank you. The Prince of Ravens, and thank you, the wheels on the bus, go die, 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 they still go die, 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 really. Thank you, the Club Rocker, and the Red Nine, and RE4. Thank you, Tim Klomp, and Trevor Marquez, and Tropic, and Zachary Alexander. 
Thank you, friend Carrick. Link the eighth. M A S four M zero. I can't pronounce that. I'm sorry. Thank you, spooky uh, finger puppet, nine tailed wisp. I'm spooky finger puppet, terrified. Thank you, Steph, Steve, Stefan, Priotasa, Coco. I should have just said Coco Joe. I keep screwing that up. Thank you, everyone who supports me on Patreon. Thank you all. Um, and, uh, thank you again for watching this video. Let's see how long we're going on. Oops, seven minutes. Someone's gonna be mad. Eh, that's not really my problem, though. I hope you enjoyed this video, though, and this spooky month. I have more videos planned for, uh, the rest. Sorry, something caught in my throat. Like, phlegm. Uh, but yeah, I hope everyone has a nice Halloween if you don't celebrate which I, I barely celebrate um, hope you have a nice day uh, stay safe regardless love you all uh, thank you again for watching the video if you're still with me at this point again stay safe hope you enjoyed the videos this month and I will see you all next time on Nenslate click